YouTube. It's time for floor and panel removal for the next couple of days. Um, we already started on the floor removal after we finished with removing the seats. So that's half of the day and then we finished it up the next day. What about the panels on the side? We got most of it smoothly at first, you know, pulling all the screws and grabbing off the ones that we couldn't pull out. Uh, but then we realized that everything was pinch welded. So uh, we ran into some struggle there, but you will get to see all of that battle. So with some of the screws, uh, best way to get them out, old, stripped, rusted, we're finding is to drill the heads out. Uh, we didn't have to get new drill bits good and hard, so hopefully I will not break this bit because when it's hard, it's brittle. So let's try. Get it down in there nice and straight. Slow and steady and straight. Smoking kind of. Slower speeds are better. And ah. So if you're wondering uh, if it's going to be putting holes into the bottom of the bus, if you can't tell, all of the screws already run to the bottom of the bus. So drilling the heads out isn't really too big of a problem. And when you get that little bit there, once we get all the rubber up, we'll just take and grind them out. All right, time to rip up some ground. Oh yeah, look at, look at that. Nice. Delicious. Super delicioso. Good thing we got our dust masks on. Oh yeah, we don't need any of this in. Yeah, oh. Uh -oh. Well, as we're seeing. That, uh, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Well, that means we got a lot more work than we initially expected. Because that is definitely some water retention, my friends. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, we got a lot of cleaning up to do. Looks like we better get back to it. All right. Yep. So, with some of them that we can't get out even with the air gun or drilling them out, we have to grind. So, a few different ways to get her knocked out there. Go ahead and put my goblin back on. Yeah, you gotta make sure you got the proper protection. Safety first, guys. Yeah. Smells like, the, smells like the 4th of July in here. Yeah. Well, we've reached the end of day two. Starting to run out of some daylight here. So, uh, got a little bit left, but got a fair bit done. Um, got a lot of the flooring up. Tomorrow we'll have to get the rest of the floors. Uh, still got to dislocate the heater there. I thought we were going to try to keep it at first. Uh, but it's just a coolant system mess, so we'll get that blocked off some point tomorrow. Probably just end up cutting into the line and plugging it. Uh, but tomorrow we'll finish up this side of the floor, start yanking on some walls. How do you feel about our day's work today? Oh, pretty good. I, I feel like we got a lot accomplished. I mean, we pulled out all the seats. I mean, we ripped up almost all the, the flooring. Um, but it takes longer than you think because there's so many screws that you have to unscrew. And a lot of them, as you saw from previous clips, you gotta like saw them off pretty fight. much. Gotta because fight. they're just so old and just wanna hold on there for dear life. And you just have to rip them out against their will. So, feels pretty good for the second day, we actually did get a full day's worth of work in today from about 9.30 till dark. So that's about all we can do. We will see you guys on the flip. It's a beautiful day to start day three. Um, we're doing the second half of the floor removal and we're gonna get rid of the sides as well and hopefully there's not gonna be anything gross on the side. Um, and then uh, if we have enough time, we'll clean the bottom of the bus and paint it. 
Every one of the walls has a whole bunch of screws in them, and most of them have at least one screw that won't come out. This happens to be the first panel where we've got all the screws out. Um, so I'm going to try to remove this panel. I'm not sure how it fastens up in there, but hopefully. I'm going to stand back just in case anything flies out at me. Ooh. Well, we it does not seem to want to go. Slide it down. Okay. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna have to figure, figure this out. out. Yeah. All right. Well, we were trying to remove the panels before, but uh, we looked it up and found out we have to remove all these windows before we can remove any of these panels. So I already started removing the first to here as you can see um so to remove the panels uh i literally have to take a knife <laughs> stick my head out of it and then on the sides there's adhesive and on the bottom so all i did was cut that off and you can see that boom pulled out the window and i put them here so i don't forget which one goes where, and finally, be able to remove this, possibly. Oh, I see. This this might take what, you, my love. What do you see? Tell that, that it's like, like almost fused on there. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. for the next one. All right, so we're outside next day. Um, it's a nice crisp 26 degrees. Um, we're out here taking out the puppies. Giving them some walking time before we go work on the bus today. What are we going to work on today, Forrest? Well, we're going to um, paint the floors and uh, try to pull them walls which are paint welded. So that's going to be a fun process. We'll show you all about that. Oh, yeah. There's Raisin. And I don't know. Oh, Bane's way out in the distance. Day four, we got Jessica in here whipping up some paint. Oh yeah. I'll be outside trying to get some scraps all pulled out to the trash and hopefully be able to run some to the salvage yard. But uh, we're gonna get this thing going today. Get some coats on it. Make sure it doesn't rust up anymore. Today, Forrest went on his own to do the bus um, because I'm staying home waiting for our mattress to come in. Can't wait for that to be shipped. But I'm doing this video on my phone since Forrest took the camera. And let's just hope that Forrest actually remembers to record anything. Um, if you see very little recording on removing the window or the sides, then you can blame Forrest on that because that he was in charge of the camera. And he's not the best camera person, but he might be good. But right now, I'm just outside here, um, walking the dogs. There's one of them. They're just exploring the land back here. Um, but it's actually not that uh, cold out right now. I thought it was going to be way colder. That's why I'm dressed like this. But to be honest, it's like, I want to say maybe 50. I mean, it feels 50. I don't know. But sorry about the quality of this video, but like I said, I don't know if Forrest is actually going to record anything. Let's cross our fingers and hope he does so we actually have footage of the removal of the panels on the side. So it's kind of hard keeping track of three dogs. I mean, I have one right there, one right there, but the little one, the third one, is missing. Ezio! Well, he's usually the cl one closest by. Oh, there he is. Come on, Ed! Let's 
Let's see. There he is. Come on, it. All right. So the other day, we were struggling trying to remove the wall panels here. Um, as you can see, each one is pinch welded on there. So I was trying to pry them apart with a screwdriver and a hammer. Uh, but that's pretty much bending everything up. As you can see, it's bending up all my trannels and trims there. So what we're gonna try to do today is uh, drill each one at the thick spot there and hopefully it'll speed up this process a little bit. But today we're gonna try drilling them as opposed to just splitting them. Okay, drilling was taking a really long time, so we've decided to move up to old air hammer. Seems like that's actually cutting through it pretty well. I'm gonna try to set up a time lapse, but I'm not very good with the camera. So here's how. So it looks like doing the air hammer is definitely the way uh, has sped up the process a thousand percent. Um, I still will have to re-bend those tabs um, where all the tangs were, where our windows will sit so we can um, get some caulk in there and get those sealed up well. Uh, but yeah, definitely air hammer, the way to go. So, when you pull out the windows, you've got some old trim here, some old sealant. So what we're doing now, Bobby's going to go ahead and scrape some. Got my brother Bob here just scraping all that old stuff out, so we'll put in the new caulk and seal up the windows. It'll give us a much better chance to get any rain or anything out, so. Just part of the process of scraping out that old sealant. Looks like they put it on the top, or the sides and the bottom the windows. And there's always a pretty good blob in the corner there. Wow. Voila, easy breezy beautiful. Alright, got my brother Bob here helping. Rock on Bob. He has been motivating me. We are absolutely killing it today. Got all of this side done. And I think we're gonna get this side done too. If I just get off this damn camera, dang camera, and get back to. Okay, looks like we got all of the walls out, all the insulation out, all the windows back in, and a majority of the silicone pulling the windows in. So now we can start putting stuff into the bus as opposed to removing things from the bus. That's another day. So I've been waiting all day for the purple mattress to ship, but it's finally here. If you haven't heard, the purple mattress is kind of like a better than a memory foam, I guess. But just on my butt, it's feeling good. How about your butt? How's your butt feeling? It feels like I'm being supported by a million different ants <laughs> from a million different points carrying no weight on any pressure points. <laughs> well, now we need a full body experience this mattress. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a good night's sleep. This is gonna be way better than the mattress we've been sleeping on, which was Forrest's childhood mattress. Which means it's like over 15 plus years old. Plus, it was only a full size mattress, so like every night I was almost falling off the edge. But this is a queen size, so hopefully that won't happen. And even if it does, we're not far from the ground since we don't have a um, box spring. Box spring, thank you, couldn't think of the name. Box spring. But it feels like a million little air bubbles <laughs> are holding my body displacing weight evenly to create no pressure points. I love your similes, my love. Or metaphors. Whichever one it is. So we got all the floor and panels removed, but I did learn something. That we shouldn't have painted the floors before removing the panels, because right now there's a bunch of fiberglass uh, stuck to the bottom. 
But, I mean, this is a learning experience, so we learn as we go. And hopefully you'll learn with us and learn from our mistakes. Um, one thing that we're moving on to next is our roof. We do think it's super important to seal the outside world outside. Um, so we're using this Gaco Flex product, which they use on the spaceships. So if it's good enough for outer space, should be good enough for the bus. Um, so it's a few steps, but we're going to show you all about that here to come. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook at Bus With Us, or follow us on Instagram at Bus underscore with underscore us. And join us for the next video. See you then.